this. And they always say they always say the same stuff. They always say the same stuff. I'm gonna be here in a long time on this video. I already know. Okay, so let's continue. So, in whom ye all also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that ye believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Remember, he gives his Holy Spirit to the ones who obey him. Okay, now he, this guy says to believe. So here's the thing. What the, okay, th this is the work of God. This is the Father's will. The works of the Father's will is to believe because believe simply means obedience. Okay, if you, they say they believe, but they don't have to obey, they're contradicting. That's the one thing faith alone doesn't understand. Believe is a work because believe means to obey. Obeying and repentance and baptism is the works of the Father's will. That's how you love him. You keep his commands. Obedience literally means to believe, and the ones God's word will not go to heaven is the ones who do not obey, because disobedience literally means unbelief. And that means if you don't believe because of disobedience, you will be cut off and you won't go to heaven. We just went through that. So believe means to obey, which is the works of the Father's will, and disobedience is unbelief, meaning you go to hell <laughs> because you don't believe. That's violation of John 3, 16. So anyway, we got to believe what Jesus says about the gospel, right? So where it says we trust, we're trusting Jesus. So question, do you trust Jesus who is the word? Jesus is the word. Jesus is the truth. Do you trust Jesus to finish work on the cross that he told the truth of the gospel of our salvation which is that he who believes and is baptized will be saved. You either believe him or you don't, right? So when you get saved, you receive the Lord manifested in you, and that's the Holy Spirit. How do we know that? Because if you keep his commands, it is he who loves them, and Jesus will manifest himself in you. He's manifesting the Holy Spirit as promised, right? And this Holy Spirit as promised is the Holy Spirit, which is the Lord working with you. Think about that. Now, do you believe the gospel of your salvation, which is baptism saves you? You either believe them or you don't. They profess to believe Jesus, but they deny him when they disobey baptism. That's heretics. Remember, he only, he only gives his Holy Spirit to those who obey. And it says that the gospel of your salvation is after you believe the. That believe literally means to obey the baptism saves you. The ones who don't obey are the ones who don't believe, which is unbelief. Common sense. Let's verify that again. Let's verify that again. Okay, three part. And remember, this gospel that Jesus told us to preach is after he rose from the dead and right before he went to the Father, as the next two scenes are too. These are the last words of Jesus before he ascended to the Father. Again, do you trust Jesus to finish work on the cross? Do you trust Jesus who is the word of truth? Do you trust that Jesus told the truth? That if you get baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and you observe all commands, that he will give you the Holy Spirit working with you. Again, the Holy Spirit is when you keep his commands, repent to be baptized, Jesus himself will manifest himself in you, and lo, Jesus is with you always to the end of age. As long as you abide in the vine, you will be saved. So you can't ignore that part, right? So this Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit as promised. And this Holy Spirit as promised is Jesus who is in you, working with you. When he manifests his Holy Spirit in you, he works through you. See how that works? And the Holy Spirit is only given to those who obey him. And obey means to believe. And believe means believe da, which means to obey. The ones who disobey is unbelief. Do you believe that we are to be baptized? You either believe them or you don't. Remember, the gospel, part of it is baptism. Do you believe the gospel of your salvation? Hmm? Think about that. Next one. Okay. So, now, just a three-part verification. One for the Father, one for the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So, do you trust Jesus, the word of truth? Do you trust Jesus when he says that repentance and the remission of sin should be preached to all nations? Remember, when you repent from your, like Peter said, Repent and get baptized. Why are you getting baptized in the name of Jesus? Oh, for the remission, forgiveness of sins. This is baptism right here, people. So when you repent and you get baptized for remission of your sins, you will receive the Holy Spirit as promised. 
And that Holy Spirit is after you keep his commands, repent, be baptized, that shows you love him, and Jesus will manifest himself in you, and that Holy Spirit that he manifests in you is the promised Holy Spirit, as promised. And he only gives the Holy Spirit to those who obey him, right? And obedience literally means to believe. And the Holy Spirit of promise is that promise right there. And this is the gospel of our salvation. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins. And he will manifest the Holy Spirit in you. And he'll work through you to the end of age. You got to endure it to the end. It helps you. So in other words, do you believe this? After you believe is when you get the Holy Spirit, not before. All right. So and in other words, if you believed, that means you obeyed the right and the ones who do not obey repentance which means they're free will sinning that means they will not enter in because of unbelief disobedience is unbelief and what it means to believe in jesus is to obey and remember many will profess to believe in jesus but they deny him when they disobey him that means their heart is far from him and they're trying to receive god's grace in vain following the teachings of men faith alone grace alone eternal security those are the teachings of men. It's not in the Bible. But what you see on screen is. do Now, now brother, who sent me this comment, you said you got to believe him. You believe you got to repent? Do you believe the word believe? It literally means to obey. And do you also believe that God swore that the ones who do not obey are the ones who don't believe? Do you believe that? You either believe them or you don't. Call me a liar. You better you better know what scripts. If you're going to preach the scripture to me, brother, who sent the comment, you better know what the word believe means. If you think you can profess to believe and not believe anything Jesus says, that's what, hypocr that's what hypocrites do. Come on now. He only gives a spirit to the ones who obey. Okay, let's move on. i got a lot more to go through. What else I got going here? What else I got? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so this guy says, where am I at? Okay, let me finish this last 15 minutes off, and then I'll, um, and then I'm going to take a little break, then finish it off. This is an hour of yapping away here. But hey, I'm breaking down the scriptures. I don't speak my own words. I just break, I, you put the scripture in front of my face, I'll tell you what it means. Very simple. And I can connect them like dots, like it's a puzzle piece. All right. That's where the autisticness starts kicking in. That's how you put the scripture together. You got to be autistic. Screw a pill. Stick with Jesus. Let's continue. He says, I either.